Sphagnum is an amazing plant. And one particular feature that's amazing about it is how much water it can hold. You can see the water just dripping out of it there. That will go on and on for ages. The way to get the whole amount of water, as you can see, it's a massive amount of water. It's like a sponge. It holds about 25 times its own dry weight in water. If you compare that with a sponge that you've got in your kitchen, that holds about seven times its dry weight. The other interesting thing about sphagnum is it actually makes the conditions around it more acidic, which actually favours more sphagnum growth and stops other plants from actually growing. Bog cotton is quite tolerant to that, so sphagnum and bog cotton live quite happily together. It's sphagnum moss which creates this habitat and maintains it in this state, thus allowing this carbon to remain under the soil instead of being released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. And the reason sphagnum is able to do this is because of its unique cellular structure at the microscopic level. So much of the volume of a, a leaf of sphagnum is comprised of these giant, dead, empty cells called hyalocysts, which are strengthened by, by ribs called fibrils and have pores that let water into them. And this basically allows the, uh, these cells allow the sphagnum to act like a giant sponge to keep the, the surface of the, the bog permanently moist. But it's not just one species of sphagnum we have in the UK. Sphagnum is a genus with uh, perhaps about two or three hundred species worldwide, about roughly 35 of which we have in Scotland. And it's important to understand exactly what species we do have because each individual species has a subtly different ecological niche, or different requirements for, uh, uh, for pH and has a different desiccation tolerance. Um, so just last month, for example, it was discovered that this species here, uh, Sphagnum magellanicum, uh, as, we, as it was called then, is actually comprised of three species. And we're going to have now to get used to calling the one we have in Britain Sphagnum medium instead. And this matters because different species have different requirements in terms of ecology. And it's only by understanding the, uh, what species we have that we, we can know what the precise function of any individual plant is in the environment.